Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. Now the, this is your monthly reading for October. We're moving into eclipse season. So we have two eclipses in October. We're in Libra season, moving into Scorpio season. So we have the new moon in Libra, which is an eclipse and the full moon in Taurus, which is the opposite sign of Scorpio at the end of the month. And that's also an eclipse. Now what I get for you is having fun have lots of fun <laughs> they're showing me you know when you're a kid or kids do this there might be a hill like a grassy hill and they'll roll down it and it's just fun and silly of it so they're showing me this that for whatever reason they were showing me that and then I was tuning into the Sagittarian guides and they're just laughing and I'm like okay <laughs> something funny is happening here or they're just like you know let's just have some fun so we've got three of crystals collaboration productivity this would suggest that you're still going to be busy though <laughs> so whatever it is that you this is the three of pentacles so it is something of value but the b is very very busy and the collaboration energy you could be really really productive with your time effort and energy but you need to be having fun doing it so have a few laughs for whatever reason, this is energy exchanges with other people that are coming through. So you want to be able to, you know, find some joy in these connections. And then that's where the energy flows and things can start happening and the cogs of the wheel can start moving and turning. So, yeah, you really have to kind of enjoy yourself. But uh, with what it is that you're doing at this moment in October, it just... Yeah, like I said, things can move forward. It can be really productive, but it doesn't want to have a heaviness to it. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> I love this. Life is simple and easy. Absolutely. All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life and all is well. So they kind of want you to not worry too much. And I know that's a hard thing to say to not do but it's kind of like just be in the present moment and trust that you're going to be fine in that moment and everything's going to be you know you trust yourself and you trust life and all that you need to know is revealed at that moment so in some way what you're doing is streamlining a process in your life and making it easier and making it fun so or at least saying have some fun with it so yeah I, th I think this is fabulous I'd take that any day Sagittarius <laughs> because life there's been some heavier things around so I'm particularly getting you know the Taurus energy life is simple and easy so that's that full moon in Taurus I think a lot might be illuminated then and that's kind of the full stop this eclipse is the final eclipse of that Taurus Scorpio North Node in a, uh, cycle that has ended now we've moved into Aries and Libra so we're going to be working a lot with the South Node in Libra when we're in Libra season and as you know the themes of Libra is balance and harmony so when something's been so heavy or felt like you know you're dragging your feet with something wanting to restore some kind of balance but this is like the final release the full moon in Taurus to that cycle something we've been working on karmically or some kind of purpose that we've been our souls said let's learn this some kind of soul growth lesson that's come through over the last two years and I'm feeling this kind of sense of lightness that comes in with the release which is really lovely so <laughs> have some fun with it Sagittarius so let's see what's shifting and changing for you let's see what is shifting and changing for Sagittarius and um yeah, I'm actually Sagittarius rising. I know a lot of you already know that, but yeah, I'm going, oh, okay, oh, this is good. I'm going to enjoy myself. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what's coming through. What's shifting and changing for Sagittarius? Sword 5, Uranus, Aquarius. Yeah, this is conflict. This is uh, being able to kind of, uh, yeah, people that are just, this is thinking outside the box but sometimes when you're with people that they think so differently to you it just it's like okay I can't work with this person it's too different we've also got sword 10 Uranus Gemini little, little, bleh, look at all these swords coming in sword 8 Mercury Gemini lots of Gemini lots of Uranus lots of Aquarius lots of element of air coming in so it's all about communication so you might even find that you're surrounded by air signs that could be something or you're doing a a lot of conversing but the Uranus energy is um, you know this is originality this is brilliance this is um, individuality so but it can also be just trying to kind of with the sword 10 it can be these can be major like 
mercurial ideas that are coming through, major mindset shifts, changing your mind about certain things, but it's all working really well. The Sword 8 Mercury Gemini, you're coming up with solutions and ideas. And so you're all kind of putting your minds together. You keep getting these three cards. So you've got three crystals, three cards here. So there might be like a group energy here around it. And I just feel like it's like, okay, I'll just get this element of air flowing like this. And if something needs to be let go of, you let go of it. But, you know, you don't hold on to that. So you're kind of seeing, I think it's working so quickly, like you're not holding on to anything. If something just doesn't work out, it's like, no, let it go. And so um, it means that the flow of the conversation and working through things works really well. So there could be things that don't work out. There could be conflict, but you move on from that really quickly. So let's see what else is coming through. There could be restrictions or limitations, but you kind of finding solutions, having the courage to come out over that. So let's see what else is coming through for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you a fuller picture of what's going on for you, a more holistic view. And this is a general reading, Sagittarius, just take what feels right, leave the rest, always trust your intuition. I feel like this is, you know, people putting their heads together. Let's let's sink this through. Let's solve this. Let's come up with some kind of brilliant, like, um, move forward. So, yeah, it feels really productive, like brainstorming even as well, like brainstorming energy. Yeah, coming in with this. So, and if this reading does really resonate, there will be an extended reading and we will be looking further into the future. So the link for that is in the description box below and that is hosted by my Patreon channel. So I'd love it if you come and check that out because you also have access to a whole heap of premium content as well as the extendeds. And yeah, also, oh, the Ace of Cups. You're going to love this, actually. This is great. I think this is feeling really good. Uh, but it, it, yeah, it's interesting because it's almost like you're moving into new territory. But um, yeah, there's he's the Sagittarius energy of the Knight of, Knight of Wands coming through. Hanged man, you're yeah, having like some major like revelations and major kind of, uh, this could be really inspiring inspirational or very creative time for some of you as well the eight of swords two eight of swords right next to each other here they are double eights okay let's put them up so this is where you're overcoming limitations really working that through and putting a lot of energy and focus into that so that feels really good I do want to pull one more because oh the ace of pentacles was hiding there and we have the sun so this is this energy of vitality and joy that I'm feeling like I'm feeling really energized when I'm tuning into the reading and that's the sun energy breakthroughs happiness so vitality joy new opportunities coming away. But I feel like this is kind of like you're creating the opportunity through your mind, through these connections, through these conversations, through the way that you're thinking about things. So yeah, it's really fantastic. So I also wanted to say that I'm available for personal readings as well. So the link for that is in the description box two below so situation the ace of cups absolutely beautiful so now if this is a new relationship coming in you guys are just talking your heads off it's like so much to talk about here um, so it just feels like the ace of cups can be that the birth of love the birth of healing the birth of just feeling differently and that's why I kind of was getting this sense of laughter laughter and happiness because the sun represents happiness as well. So something's coming in that is wanting, that is birthing, that's wanting to bring this energy. It's the, the very start of it, a new cycle that begins. It's crossed by this little page of wands here. So the page of wands is, the, the you know, the pioneering page, the messages that you're getting that's coming in to step into new territories and, um, yeah, there's new growth. So it may be that, um, you know, there's a little bit of hesitation about doing that or that maybe you're just not quite getting the messages yet. But the page of wands doesn't really, you know, it's not a strong crossing energy to come through. So let's see. It's very progressive. So progressive pioneering kind of energy. Uh, in your conscious mind, we've got the Queen of Cups. So this Queen of Cups is where you're realizing that you have to emotionally uh, nurture yourself. And that may be the connecting to the, the, this Ace of Cups, love, joy, happiness, laughter, um, healing, whatever that means for you. This is coming in, this Queen of Cups is nurturing herself. And especially 
yeah, within relationships, within whatever this beautiful new thing that's birthing into your life. You've got two aces here. So you've got the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. So expect new cycles to be birthing. And this might have this beautiful sense of fresh energy that comes in. At the base, we've got this five of swords. So this is kind of interesting. It's come up twice. You've got five of swords twice and the eight of swords twice. So they're kind of predominant energies. And that would be um, the five of swords represents conflict. I mean, we've got Uranus Aquarius here. So Aquarius is where you're looking at your fixed thoughts, but wanting to kind of step out of the box with that. Uranus is saying, let's Look at it from a different angle. Perhaps we can free our mind from some of the fixed ways we've been thinking about some things. And so I feel like that's part of what this is, is that there's a little bit of hesitation with the Page of Swords, but you don't hesitate for too long. There's a little bit of conflict about suddenly stepping into something that feels quite new and progressive for you because it moves straight into the Knight of Wands straight away. So it could be that there's been conflict around you as well with this Five of Swords and maybe that's like arguments or quarrels or just feeling like you're not on the same page with somebody, with how they're thinking. So there could be a little bit of healing that's coming in around that. And it could be to do with like a boss or somebody who's like a, an authority in your life or an uh, authority could be even government as well. But the, this is the emperor energy that's coming in in the recent past is that there's been a situation where you've had to kind of face somebody that's had authority in your life. And kind of had to step into your, your your tower, your power. Maybe you had a tower moment, but perhaps you had to step into your power at that moment. And so it's almost like I, I claim my power back. So the emperor is very determined as well. The emperor is like, I want to make something a concrete reality. So this could be definitely very ambitious energy. But in the near future, we've got the knight of wands. I love this because this is a Sagittarius energy of taking action. So not hesitating for too long, you are going to take action and bring in some kind of positive change with this Knight of Wands. So listening to those messages from spirit, perhaps you've been hearing them and haven't wanted to take that initial action. It's like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? But the, eventually you just go charging into action with this Knight, Knight of Wands and, and follow that fire, that spark within the passion or the motivation, the drive. You might be feeling really motivated actually with this. So you're presenting as the hanged man, which is interesting because the hanged man is not taking action at all, is doing the opposite where it feels like there's been delays or there's been stagnation or you've just had to take a, a pause or some time out to just really kind of see things from different perspectives and this in itself could be very enlightening. Um, so yeah, I feel like whatever's going on inside this beautiful hanged man's head, there's, a, there's the glow here. It's like this is the sun that's coming out here and it's also reflective of the Ace of Pentacles, this beautiful golden circle that comes in. So it's like you find you found clarity from being able to take some time out from a situation or even if something's been going super slow, it's given you a chance to gain a new perspective that in some way has created this new opportunity that's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles and the breakthrough with the sun. So I feel like this is something you are kind of creating within yourself or within at least your perception of the situation, suddenly seeing an opportunity where you weren't willing to step into it before or you weren't wanting to see it before. So we're seeing that. We have as energy surrounding you the Page of Swords. So you might have been getting a lot of messages from like this person that was very powerful around you. Um, there might have been a lot of messages coming in from like government authorities, bosses, important clients, people in your life. Like these can be family members or partners that have an authority in your life. But this page of swords is going, I'm listening, I'm hearing, I'm getting a lot of information coming to me. And again, it's just so much, you're learning a lot, so much going through your mind. And it's kind of like I'm processing what I'm hearing here. I'm, I'm kind of understanding it. I'm trying to get to the bigger picture of what this all means. It's like a lot of information coming. What does it all mean in the bigger picture? So uh, the page of swords can be that it may be that you're starting something like uh, studying or learning as well with the page of swords. But yeah, it's the start of of opening your mind, um, open and curious mind to something new, some new ideas, new solutions, new learning that's coming through. So, or new messages that's coming in. So we have as hopes and fears, the judgment card. 
So the judgment card is where you're clearing a whole heap of old energy out and you're reviewing, reviewing it, processing it and just re letting it go. So yeah, it kind of feels like um, that's something that's going on. So we have as an outcome, we've got two eights, Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to talk about them in a sec, but let's talk about these eights. So the Eight of Swords, look at that character. The blindfolds are on. It's, um, yeah, bound by limited forms of thinking, feeling restricted, frustrated. But it's an energy of having the courage to come up with a solution because the Eight of Wands is taking action. This is very, very focused energy. It's like very clear and direct. This is the 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 way that the energy is moving. It could be a shift and change in the energy. It could happen quite quickly and fast. And it may be that, there, yeah, there's some news or communication that comes in. But this Eight of Wands is saying I'm focusing on moving beyond these limitations at this moment in time. And so then what's happening here, <laughs> I've got the got the fly buzzing around me so that might be like this little page of swords or this page of wands like these little messages buzzing around um, but yeah we have the queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles so this is you and your divine feminine energy going what is it that I want to focus on what is it that I want to nurture in my life what is it that I want to tangibly move forward and so and then you're doing it you're starting it you, you're creating it so this is the ace of pentacles the new cycle begins. And so you're putting your time and effort and energy into something that makes you happy. <laughs> that could be really, really productive. So it's fantastic. So the Ace of Pentacles can be anything like a new project or it could be a new career direction or it could be a new job or a new um, something new coming in, a new cycle coming in around money and home or health. So it's something that you really want to love and really nurture. So that's why we've got the sun card, which is this sense of suddenly there's breakthroughs, suddenly the sun is shining, seeing something really clearly, there's opportunities coming your way and inner child is really happy here. We see the inner child on the horse. So it is this sense that the inner child energy wants to be having fun. It's playful energy, it's bliss, it's joy. So Again, it's that image of the kid rolling down the hill and just laughing and the guides just laughing. They want you to connect to that energy. Find that, find that thing that you want to tangibly bring into your world and focus on it and nurture its stability in your world. So you might have to give it a bit of extra time or money or whatever it is. So let's see what's coming through. We have, yes, beautiful, the tree. Okay, so this is a time of growth, of branching out, reaching out, new growth coming. I have two charms. One is a tree with a circle around it, which represents restrictions around growth. This is the, the tree that's free to grow. It's free to branch out, free to build new foundations, new roots, if that's something that you're, you're planning new foundations here. But yeah, definitely, it can even be related to family as well, like family tree. But it, I feel like it's time. It's a really, really positive time for powerful growth. And it's this is a fully grown tree here. This is not just a little bush or a, a seedling. This is something that wants to grow to be strong. So yeah, it's something that is requiring that kind of, yeah, that vision, I guess. This is what I want it to be. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is nurturing this. So coming back to life is simple and easy. Yes, whatever it is that you're doing here, simplify your life, prioritize the things that bring you joy and love. And um, yeah, just it's very much a go with the flow energy and be really in the present moment. So and in, remember to enjoy yourself. There's something beautiful birthing here. So that's a reading, Sagittarius. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to see that it, this might feel like, you know, a happy breakthrough, uh, putting some nurturing, this new opportunity, this new cycle in my life. So let's see where it's all going. Let's see, because it feels like this feels so good to be able to do this. And the productivity that comes through could be really great. So don't be afraid to open up to other people's ideas or other people's um, with this collaborative energy that's around it as well. That could really help this start to move forward. So or other people's input in some way. So but yeah, we're just going to see where this is going. It's the very beginnings of it with the two aces. We have the sun that is here to we need the sun for the seed to start to grow. 
and the water of the Ace of Cups. So it feels like the time is right for this. So let's see what is coming in. Let's look into the near future, the future beyond. And yeah, we're going to just ask any clarifiers if that needs to come through. So that's all in the extended reading. Love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. And the link, the extended reading is hosted by my Patreon channel. And so you have access to a whole heap of other extra content as well. And just a reminder that I do do personal readings. The link for that is also in the description box below. And please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, Sagittarius. Love to read your comments and take care.